Footage of the attack on the husband of Nancy Pelosi has now been released. We're gonna show you this footage, understand this is an incredibly graphic bit of video of an attempted assassin of Nancy Pelosi attacking her husband. So bear that in mind as we go forward. 640, oh, yeah, it literally said in there. Hi, how you doing? Oh yeah. What's going on, man? Everything's good. Hi. Hi. Drop the hammer. Um, nope. Hey, 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 hey. What is Pardon going on right now? I'm not getting an answer on call. Bro, oh, 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 Wow, that is uh, every bit as graphic as you would expect it would be. Considering the initial description, the horrendous injuries suffered by Paul Pelosi. We have a lot more on this, but it looks like you have immediate reaction. Yeah, I, I just wanna say uh, one quick thing there. So the, the, as you're gonna see as this plays out, uh, Paul Pelosi's trying to get the cops to come to his house, right? And he's been trying to talk DePape down so that DePape doesn't attack him before the cops arrive. That's why he's got his hand on the hammer. That's why he's like this, and and you, that's the only. It might be the only police shooting. I'm sorry, police altercation video that we've covered on the Young Turks in 20 years. Where I was thinking, I wish the cops had shot him, like that that they had fired. Because I'm like, he's gonna use the hammer. Now, of course, benefit of hindsight. I'm not blaming the cops. It was very hard to tell. It all Pelosi, happened very fast. Yes, and Pelosi was standing right next to him. So I'm not blaming them. But man, that was a rare instance where I was like, oh, I, I wish they'd taken clear, like more physical action the cops had mm -hmm. against the, the assailant. And I literally never said that before. Yeah. And as you're gonna see here, the guy broke in earlier, but and also it has not stopped the right wingers. From any of their conspiracy theories, I'm all over social media, they still say the same exact things, even after seeing that horrific video and more overwhelming evidence of the break-in. Yeah, uh, literally nothing can come out. No evidence can come out that is going to change their mind. We'll get into that, but first, I want to give you information. This video was released because Judge Stephen Murphy of San Francisco Superior Court ordered it to be released. Uh, there had been news organizations that had been pushing for it. We're going to give their argument. But first, in addition to this, you also have portions of a police interview with the suspect, which I think also it should be considered kind of crucial evidence for figuring out what we should take away from this attack. Uh, we've seen this before in text form, but here's a bit of that actual police interview. It's like, you know, the founding fathers, it's like, they fought the British, they fought the tyranny, they didn't just f***ing turn it to it. And when I left my house, I left to go fight tyranny. I did not leave to go surrender. So this is as is so often the case. One of these right wingers engaging in an act of targeted political violence who wants nothing more than for you to understand exactly what his motivation was. And thus that video and all details similar to it will be completely ignored by the right wing going forward. So before we jump into the conversation, the news, because the release of the video is contentious. Many people are wondering, is it necessary for people to see this? The lawyer arguing for the news organization, the sort of consortium of news organizations says these are open facts. They are known facts. The public's right of access should not be dependent on conspiracy theories. Now, I don't know Thomas Burke. I don't know if he's operating in good faith. That same argument could be made by an honest person who just wants transparency. Or it could be you know, Jesse Waters' personal lawyer. I don't know. What I do know is that either way, and we could have predicted this. Now it's been proven, all of this video coming out is not going to stop the conspiracy theories because the conspiracy theories are not based in an honest disagreement about the facts and an honest desire for more information. The right wing is never gonna be presented with a piece of information that is gonna result in them saying, "Oh, we've messed up. And Tucker Carlson is gonna come forward and say, you know, it looks like this guy watched a lot of our type of content and he just, he went way too far and it's terrible and we're gonna rethink our business model going forward. That is never going to happen. The conspiracy theories are not based in honesty. And so whether this is an honest request to try to get around that or not, it's not going to work. 
Yeah, before we get into more analysis, actually, I, I do want to show the uh, the pape breaking into the house because it's really important that you guys see that uh, because a lot of the right wing conspiracy theories, obviously, completely imagined, completely made up with not one piece of evidence because. They're all lunatics at this point. And now if I meet a Republican, I assume they're a lunatic. They, but it's a rebuttable presumption. They could prove that they are not a lunatic, but they're gonna have to prove it because they believe in nonsense like this. So here, can we show the pape breaking into the house? Yeah, so that's him hitting the back door with a hammer. I watched that whole four or five minute tape of that, of him breaking in and it's super scary. Because he just casually walks to the backyard, his seemingly backyard, and uh, and he's got his uh, materials, he's got his duct tape, he's got his zip ties, etc. He calmly gets his stuff together. Meanwhile, Pelosi's sleeping upstairs, right, and has no idea that there's this lunatic in his backyard. And then the guy starts hammering and a little bit of hammering, and then eventually wailing away, as you see there. So none of I have one exception. We'll get to one right wing host has now said. Yeah, that it, this it turns out they were not they didn't know each other. All the conspiracy theories were wrong. Et you mean that Elon Musk was wrong when he baselessly asserted that it was some sort of gay affair? By the way, the ones who all asserted this were uh, Elon Musk. He removed his tweet a couple hours later. It was from he had put it attached some idiot right wing site. Which, by the way, is there a non idiot right wing site? Is there a non lying right wing site? Correct answer: No. No, you, if you read a right wing website, you should assume that everything in it is a lie. Sometimes when someone is not lying, a Republican is not lying, we'll do breaking news as I'm going to later. There's one host who's not lying here and it's a bit shocking, okay? Uh, but Ted Cruz, uh, Elon Musk, Donald Trump Jr., Candace Owens, they all were like, oh yeah, I bet they were together. <laughs> Bunch of absolute moron lunatics. It's not debatable, it's not 50-50. Ted Cruz is a terrible person, terrible. Just to know that a person's head was hammered in and that is your colleague's husband. And to falsely, he know, you think Ted Cruz doesn't know that they weren't together, he knows. These vile pieces of crap that are Republicans. Not one of them has apologized, not one. Because they don't care about the truth, they actively hate the truth. They brainwash their idiot followers into believing this insanity. So there's a giant mental health problem in this country, gigantic. A third of the country has lost its mind and I don't know what to do about it. All right, Farron, weigh in. You know, it, well, it's, it's hard to follow that up a little bit, but no, I think you, you, you absolutely just you, spot on. Uh, what we're dealing with right now with the right, you know, conspiracy theories aside, is that level of violence? And to watch it unfold in that video, it, it, shins, it sends shivers down the spines of not just the members of Congress who've had to beef up their security, which we've been talking about for years, but also people like us. I, I, I know very well that each and every one of us has gotten threats from some lunatic here or there saying, I'm gonna come and do this thing to you. I'm going to do it to your families. We've all gotten that. And to see it unfold, it just puts that thought in your head like that that could be us. We could be next. That could be my back door. And so that's to me one of the reasons why this is so terrifying. And then of course, when you add in just the sheer stupidity and ignorance and, and hatred that these Republicans have by spreading these conspiracy theories that are all debunked in those clips that you just showed. Like you don't even have to watch the full you know, minutes and minutes and minutes of videos. Just from what you've shown there proves that these people are lying to you and you're choosing to accept the lie rather than to spend just a couple moments of your life looking at this tape and realizing everything you've been told by these people is an utter lie. And, and so th those are my two big things with this. One, yeah. we've all gotten those threats, never knowing exactly is this person just you know a wacko a thousand miles away or is this person down the block from me? And just the sheer refusal to accept reality on the right. Those are my two big things here. Yeah, so, so far I have not yet seen this whole day 
any Republicans, there must have been some, I guess, but I'm, I'm not positive, uh, come out and say, horrified, horrified, we're so sorry. It, it, at a minimum, we're so sorry that, they, that she had to go through this, let alone, in the beginning when the attack first happened, some Republicans put out press releases saying, yeah, I guess it's bad to try to murder the Speaker of the House's husband, okay, very mild statements. But today they should be like horrified, nothing, nothing, nothing. You know why? Because they're not horrified. Nope. It's stochastic terrorism. They egg on their, their, their base that they know is not that bright. That's why Tucker Carlson always says these lunatic things because he knows the people watching, not that bright, they'll believe anything. They'll believe anything. So they just egg them on, they go, oh, whoops, look, another one of our fans wound up trying to murder you. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, I guess you caught a tough break until next time. And that's what we have to deal with here. So there are fascists among us, a lot of them. And, and these are super scary times. Yeah, yeah, and I know a lot of people uh, incredibly worried about what tonight on Fox is gonna be like. Uh, not only with you know what's coming out of Memphis, when that video and all that, God only knows what they're gonna be saying on that network. But for this as well, honestly, silence probably preferable to the takes they'll have. Uh, and I know that in the immediate aftermath, like a couple days after the initial attack, they were posting jokes. It was they thought it was the funniest thing ever. People posting uh, costumes of them dressed up as the assassin, the assassin who tried to murder Nancy Pelosi. Don Jr. putting on Instagram photos of of all of that stuff. They thought it was hilarious that someone bashed in this old man's head. Like we're we're supposed to be crazy radicals. We're supposed to be like they are proving everything we're saying about who they are and what they want. They wish he had succeeded in killing Nancy Pelosi. It is not a radical thing to say that. It is extreme to believe anything other than that. And we're gonna see what they're gonna make out of all of this evidence. But why don't we go to Fox's initial reaction to what's been unveiled. It looks like this isn't enough evidence, they want more. Let's hear them make the case. Where, where is the evidence of a, of a breaking and entering? I get what you're saying, Sandra, about always casing the area. There's video Has of him breaking seen? through the house. There's I video, have, I of, him seen a video of him breaking through the house. Okay, it's on the screen right now. Okay. Um, I, no, he's, and I assume it's with okay. the hammer that he, you later see him with. But there's clear video that we have been given outside of the house, the attackers on the right side of the screen breaking through the house. Got it. Well, what? Yeah, okay, great. Then maybe maybe he's, he's clearly, maybe he's clearly using that to break in. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, but but what? Can't we talk more about what? What is the DOJ doing? Are we supposed to just give a hall pass on such an important fact? That's that to me. I think I, I think there was a clear narrative that the DOJ wanted to to propagate in this, and and that and we've been going through this with other occasions. Was the Hunter Biden thing with the the Mar-a-Lago you know uh, mm -hmm. search warrant? I think that's really to me the biggest takeaway. That why why is there not truth? in what happened with that entry. You're watching the entry right then. He, all he wants is proof of entry. Oh, It's there, Oh, I didn't care enough all day to even Google it, to take a look if it was out there. Oh, Okay, so that destroys my whole narrative. Um, Hunter Biden, Mar-a-Lago, Russia, Russia, something, anything. I don't have a functioning brain. I'm just here to get people to clap for me, maybe give me some of their money. I don't know who that individual is, I don't care, no one should care. He's just there to spread conspiracy theories, that's it. And as soon as it's shot down, and credit to the Fox host for at least admitting what was already publicly available, he immediately just goes vaguer. Something must be going on about, again, the entry. He's seeing the guy break in, and that's not enough evidence. He's seen the break in, he's seen him bash his head in. He's gonna go back to tweeting about how it's a gay affair later on tonight. So the DOJ reference that he's making is in the conspiracy theories. They say that the Department of Justice is pretending that the pape broke in because they're the deep state. When the pape didn't break in, him and Pelosi have, uh, are, have been longtime uh, acquaint, acquaintances, relationship, etc. The Department of Justice is lying about it. So they show the tape of the guy breaking in, and he goes back to, uh, it's very questionable what the Department of Justice is saying. No, that tape proves beyond any uh, doubt that the Department of Justice was telling the truth. But guys, that's what I'm trying to convey to you. For most right wingers, they don't care what's true. 
And that's so shocking to us. We just are having trouble comprehending it. Like, because our whole lives, if you're a rational person, you've grown up thinking it matters what's true. They're just saying, like about a third of the country is just saying, I, I don't care. I don't care what's factual, I don't care what's rational, I don't care what's logical. I can see a tape of a guy breaking in and say, he's not breaking in, the Department of Justice is lying about him breaking in. Even with my own eyes, I see it right there. I don't care. I don't, yep. In fact, guys, I put out a tweet about this, or two of them. Every right winger commenting, not just, including blue checks. Every one of them says, "Oh yeah, no, this proves we were right." Well, he's you know he's in his pajamas. It's like two, three in the morning. What the hell is he supposed to be in? Three piece suit, okay, obviously. Like, they're like, ah, ha, ha, ha. no, no, ah, ha, ha, ha. you are mentally ill. Check yourself into a facility, okay? Now, look, we unlike the right wing are fair. So the anchors there, Smith and Roberts, they did a good job of at least checking him. Why is the guy on there? Because before the tape came out, every Fox producer, everybody at Fox goes, oh, okay, let's get the conspiracy theorist on here. Let's tell him, oh, yeah, it's Pelosi's fault. It's Pelosi's fault. This shows that they're even more wrong. Okay, and then, oops, they got the tape just before the guy came on. Yeah. And then they showed the tape, and Smith and Roberts, to their credit, were like, oh, I have eyes. No, that's not what's happening, okay? Yeah. And now here's the credit to the other right winger. And guys, now, literally, any time a right winger, whether it's a pundit or a politician, tells the truth, it's breaking news. That's why I'm giving this to you. Glenn Beck said this proves that the conspiracy theories are wrong. And I was like, whoa, oh my God. Jeez. That is literally shocking to have a right wing pundit say something that's true once. <laughs> it's shocking. I was like, I couldn't believe it. Okay, <laughs> that one right winger is telling the truth about something that is exceedingly obvious. I don't know how we're gonna live together. I don't know how. All right, Farron. I, I wouldn't have guessed in a million years that it was Glenn Beck that came out and said, "Oh, I guess the conspiracy theories are wrong." Uh, so I'm glad I didn't put any money on that. But that 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 guy on Fox right there, because I want to go back to what John said. You know, he kind of malfunctioned, and he really did. Like you saw his brain, like his whole world <laughs> shattered for just a moment <laughs> because he suddenly realizes, "Oh no." I can't go with this conspiracy theory. So he stutters and stammers it. Well, it, uh, but, 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 but Biden deep state. So his brain, you're watching it in real time, starts throwing out all of these conservative buzzwords at the same time. And he's doing everything he can to just spew it right there on the air. And he doesn't, I guarantee you, he has no idea what he said after that. Right? <laughs> the little hamster got off the wheel and is getting some water and the brain just <laughs> stopped. So he tried to piece together every other conspiracy theory he has. Yeah. And it was it was almost beautiful to watch it because that is what their brains do. You can tear down one of their conspiracy theories and then they immediately start assembling a new one to make the world make sense. Yep. This is a coping mechanism for them. It's not just pushing a political agenda, they do it to make their world make sense. And we just got to see it happen in real time there. 100%, yeah, yeah, it's not It's not about, as Cenk was getting into, the search for truth, it's objective oriented. They want to, they do not They do not want a national reckoning on political violence and extremism. And so no matter how obvious and indisputable the instances of it are, they're going to find some reason to throw aspersions on it, make it an LGBTQ conspiracy theory, or just ignore it if they have to. And so as the evidence gets even more incontrovertible in this case, I assume they're gonna move on to other stuff. I don't know, what's Twix up to recently? They'll find something to fill the time. Yeah, look, last two things for me uh, is um, one, every time Ted Cruz goes uh, and talks to a reporter, they should ask him, have you apologized yet to Nancy Pelosi and Paul Pelosi for lying uh, about uh, what happened to them and insinuating horrific things, you goddamn monster, okay? Well, but they won't. Maybe you'll get a question or two in the beginning. It'll be like a little bit of a gotcha, and then everybody will let it go, right? And then all the, it, but the thing that drives me crazy is that they will then go back the very next day and take his proposal seriously. Like, oh, well, you'd like to do more tax cuts for the rich? Well, that sounds like a great idea. Well, that's a legitimate idea. I bet it's not because of your campaign contributors or you're an honest person. No, they are not honest people. Look, I don't know that the mainstream media is honest either. 
But if they are, they can't get it through their thick, thick skulls that the Republicans are all constantly lying because in every story, well, the Republicans say this and the Democrats say that. <laughs> God, if you find a reporter, please let them know so they can determine which one is true and which one isn't. Hmm. But for us, hey, we're mainstream media. We're gonna say they're both equally valid. Hmm. And, and you notice what John led with. The guy said, by the way, you should know this too. He says to the cops uh, that he had planned to get Nancy Pelosi and break her kneecaps with that hammer. So that's, and he was completely non apologetic about it. And what did he talk about? Government tyranny. Yep. Now you will see going forward, forget about the past, going forward, you'll see because we're right, we're 100% right. You will still see Republican politicians and Republican talk show hosts all talking about government tyranny. You really should do something about government tyranny. That's why you have your second amendment rights, yep. because of government tyranny. So I always say like, what do you want them to kill cops? You want them to kill the military? Which government tyranny are you talking about? But you know, of course what they really mean is go murder Democrats. Yep. Jesus Christ, this is the country we live in now. Now is every Republican gonna do that? No, there's 100 million Republicans in the country. But out of that 100 million, are they gonna find a couple of DePapes? Or a couple of dozen or a couple of hundred DePapes? Well, they already have, the kidnapping the governor, of, trying to kidnap the governor of Michigan, uh, driving a, 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 a truck full of bombs uh, that had, they claimed bombs in, into Washington DC, the pipe bombs on January 6th. We can go on and on, we've shown you dozens of cases of right wing idiots who believed maniacal, hateful right wing politicians and pundits who told them it's government tyranny. Aren't you gonna do something about it? Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun, but you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all of that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.